Welcome to the 2020 Low Expectations League Fantasy Football Draft. I am Owen. This is Luke. Hello, guys. We are going to be getting the draft underway very soon, but this is the pregame show. Yes, it is. And so we are going to be uh, setting the stage for this momentous event. Yeah. Um, how are you doing, Luke? I'm doing great. How are you? Are you ready to draft a winning team this year? Oh, no, yes. you're not. I because always, I'm going to draft. I always teams. draft. But that's besides winning the point. teams. We are here in Luke's basement. The action will be taking place upstairs, but we'll be bringing people down here for interviews. Yes. Um, so you can look forward to that in a couple of minutes. But first, in the Low Expectations League, there are a few changes this year. For example, due to a large shift in the people who are in the league there were a lot of changes made in the offseason this year there will be a keeper reset so in the past yes. three years we uh used the keeper format where every team got to keep their best player no more for this year next year we'll go back to it but this year complete reset no keepers um and again there are five new people uh this year so seven the same five new that was why we changed it whole new regime and right before the draft, uh, two days ago, the rankings changed drastically because Matthew Barry released his yeah. love-hate list, and yes. that always I mean, changes people's opinions very quickly. It just went crazy. Everything yes. just flip-flopped on itself. Nothing, I, yes. mean, I mean, obviously some so things we, the same, but there was yeah. very, it just, it's crazy. It was a last-second change that will definitely throw it's a gonna, wrench into it's gonna, things. It's going to impact and anyone who drafted before today. Yes. I mean... It changes the draft plan a lot. It, it really does because people who drafted before today are now going to be second-guessing their teams and they're going to making a, be yes. making a ton of transactions before the season even starts between trades and dropping players and picking up new ones. I think it's really going to... It yeah. threw a wrench in a lot of people's teams and plans. Yes. And speaking of our... The rankings, they are made different for every person with their draft order and our draft order was randomized this year again with all the new people uh they are not based on last year's standings they have been randomized reset completely random not based on anything uh, it was the computer's fault not the commissioner's so that will also yeah. make things interesting. I personally example, am drafting second, and Owen over here is drafting at 10. Yes, which actually is... It's not a bad spot because yeah, then you get the wraparound. I'm so totally you're gonna fine go, it's going to go 10, 11, 12, 11, 10. Owen's gonna, it's a snake draft, so yeah. Owen's going to get the wraparound, which is not a bad... Not With bad. the snake format like we are using, it doesn't really matter as much. Obviously, you want the first pick so you can get Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. Um, and so I'm at the second pick, and I'm hoping to get him. I don't think I will, but it's worth a shot. But it's, yeah. With the snake draft, the rankings and the order don't matter yeah. quite as much. So let's bring in some people for some interviews. You'll get to meet the new people, some of the old people who you haven't met before, and we'll get you ready for this year's draft. Oh and I think I don't I don't think this is how you draft a team. It, we don't really look appropriately dressed for uh, That's true. A draft. We should we look too professional. Do you think we, we need should to... get into something a little more casual, I think. Something like a yeah, you know, just, that seems like a really good idea. I just so happen to have one here. I know, me too. Okay, let's throw them on. Oh, that's much better. Go. Much better. Oh, we are so wait. ready. I need one more thing. I don't, uh, I don't have a hat. You can't hide this. But you hair. know me. You know me. I'm the hat guy, so. Yes. Now well, I think we're ready for the shit. draft, so let's draft a team. Joining us now, the general manager of the reigning champion, Burger Beatdown. We've got Ethan Lapp. Oh, sorry, yes. It's nice to see you, sir. It's nice to see you. What inspired your team name? Honestly, I don't know. I just, I feel like there is a reason, but I don't know. But now that I've been making beats, it makes oh, sense. Beat beat down. down. It makes sense uh, now. So yeah, the burgers. So, yeah, I don't, okay. I don't know. I guess I was hungry. Maybe. Um. Well, I kind of like alliterations, and I like bison because they're. I don't know. I don't feel like yellow sound. I guess I like a lot of bison. I saw there. 
and it's a pretty unrepresented animal in the sports community, so I think it would be a good name for us. Our next interviewee is the general manager of Team Big Poppy, Ryan Lapp. Woo! He has yeah. the trophy. All right. Even though he won three years ago when the league hey, was only six but, teams. Mm, but I three don't years ago, why. a win is a win. Am it I is. right? A win is a yeah. win. First one in the league. But when Adam Vinatieri does that, forgets. that's not a win. Your team name is Big Poppy. It's mm-hmm. been that since 2017 when the league started. How did you come up with that name? I stole it from David Ortiz. Correct. You just. You're like, I'm a dad, yep. so... I may not be as big okay. as David Ortiz, but... Not at all. But you're a dad, and, and you're and winning have, big. And, and big. I have four, four kids, yeah. so... Big poppy. Well, uh, I'm from Philly, originally. Uh, and I like the movie Rocky. So, I just put it together. And came up with Philly Fighters. Pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too crazy. So, we are being joined by another new league member, mm-hmm. Dave Keitel, general manager of Team Puddin' Fish, Puddin' Fish. Oh, I used to paddle with Puddin' Fish. Now. Oh, oh, okay. okay. So, add, yeah. <laughs> adding to the style of a uh, verb and an animal. Mm-hmm. It's very common in our league. Yeah, well, so Eli is, he names all the stuffed animals. And this was when he named Puddin' Fish Eyeballs. So now all my gamer handles are always Puddin' Fish. Uh, but I had to put a first name in, which that was kind of random. But... What did your draft prep look like? Until today, I didn't look at anything. Um, yeah, today I did two mock drafts and looked at Matthew Berry's love-hate list and his, like, rankings. So yeah, that's yeah, so I've had a similar draft strategy since uh, 2017 okay. when I won we the did that, right. league. When you um, took a quarterback in the first round. Yeah, and won. Um, and last year took three quarterbacks with the same bye week. Yeah, but that I should have won. <laughs> what? I should have okay. won. Okay. But, um, All right. you know, you even stole it from me. Mm-hmm. But, uh, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I consider myself to be probably like the humblest person in the league. Um, you know, the fact that I won the first year, you know, I don't hold that over people. But, Never. No. You no, know, no, no. I, I think my strategy is pretty sound, which is don't think about the draft at all until you show up. Honestly, this is the worst draft prep I've ever done. In fact, I've got 15 more minutes to do draft prep. <laughs> my draft strategy tends to be running backs. And Smart. quarterbacks stay late because they go get hurt all the time. Yeah. Um, I like where I'm picking third. That's about Best spot in the draft. Picking above him. Um, second. Yeah, that's that's Take okay. Whatever he wants. Yeah, I honestly, because if, if, when you get the to the top five, top four or five, usually they're all pretty much washed. Yeah. yeah. So I don't really care. Uh, very minimal. Uh, I literally printed out sheets yesterday at work and barely had a chance to look at them until this afternoon. So, you know, I have no idea what's going to happen come the 11th pick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I just asked my dad to print a few papers for me because he uses the same stuff. He does have a clipboard over here. Yeah. So very formal, pretty professional. So it's pretty minimalistic, but it works. What are your expectations for this season? I mean, I think we all know that second place is just the first loser. Right? Yeah. So 100%. Luke and I know that very well. So my expectation is always to take the coveted uh, Lombardi Trophy Championship. Yeah, the high quality um, trophy. Yeah. Yes. You know, anything okay. less than that, I'm not going to be satisfied. Uh, well, low expectations, I'd say fifth. Wow, I get that. I get it because it's low expectations. Yeah. <laughs> fifth out of 12, so you had a that's great, still so you, in the playoffs. Well, yeah. I, I think, so you had a great year last year, so you think you're going to fall back a little bit? Yeah. yeah. That, that's what happened to me. The year that I was in the championship and almost yeah. won, but Adam Benetari decided to do me bad. Just, I can't. I finished like second to last or something like that. I did really bad. Uh, I think the name fits my expectations. I don't know. I mean, you are I mean, drafting I mean, I, number one. I know that is yeah. actually very nice. So, thankfully, the randomizer has its grace on me. That's true. Oh, actually, bonus question for the number one pick: Will you be taking Christian McCaffrey number one? Yeah. Shocking. Yeah. Sorry. Bold prediction. 
Oh, I would say, you know, number one or number one. I like it. You're expecting your name on that I do. amazing I expect, trophy. I mean, what would be better than a terrible year to have me listed under 2020? Uh, I'll probably give it a solid seven. Um, you know, I feel pretty confident. I feel confident, you know, rolling solo. I've rolled solo before and I've done well before. And I've wow. My own fantasy He's before. basically saying you were the downfall, Luke. I, I, I mean, it, it's quite possible. I mean, when we did our picks from Hershey Park last year, he mm. called me and said, pick this one or this one. And so, you know, he did pick Baker Mayfield last year. He did so pick I mean, Baker Mayfield. So that, yeah. in and of itself, uh -huh. could be, you know. Good this, point. Yeah. Good solid point. reason for me to be going solo and feel a little more confident about it. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So he's first. He also had the first pick. Took Christian McCaffrey. No surprise. What was your favorite pick? I don't know. I mean, good answer. I don't like to show favoritism. You know, <laughs> gotta keep some. Now we have probably the most talkative, braggy person of the draft. I thought it would be one of the dads, but it was not. It was Ethan Keitel. What Ooh, was your does not even have the top projection for this? Yeah, team. I but am projected to win. What was yeah, your you're not the favorite top projection. pick that you made? My favorite pick was Lamar Jackson. I mean, he, he, it's a good pick. Going took him way too early. Said. Took him way too early. He didn't take a quarterback till round twelve. Daniel so Jones. I don't know what he was doing. Daniel I took Jones. him in the third round. Great value. Still too early. Number two quarterback. I think I went sixth round with the quarterback. I think it and I still got it. two great quarterbacks. Yes. That made more sense. I would like to point out I am projected to win the entire thing, so. Michael Thomas. Happy about. Michael Thomas. A good value. Is good. Yeah, Michael Thomas. Yeah, Michael Thomas. Yeah, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. Number one pick. Good yeah. pick. I like it. I like good boring it. answer. Or or James Conner. Except he's questioned. Oh, that was that was. A good I like pick. James Conner. James Conner possible bounce back. Yeah. Exactly. Season. Yeah. That was good. Do you know any of your guys? Can you name a player you on your roster? Devo Samuel. I'm pulling it up. Josh Jacobs. Juju. Juju is such an easy name to remember. Do you know my team up? Yes. Any of your favorite pick, guys. What if Juju's I pick, the best. Juju's the funniest one to say. Sure. <laughs> the Colts? That was a great pick. No, I have no favorite. I love them all equally. But she got there in time to make her first pick, which was Chiefs rookie Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Did you have anybody you like better than? Him. No. You, that was your favorite? Yeah. My okay. favorite was my first Oh, snap. You <laughs> One, two, or three. Who's it going to pick? I don't know. It's at least it's your oh, house. Right. <laughs> yeah. Shh, shh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. My team is the best. Yeah, it's definitely going to be better than Luke's. I can guarantee that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Well, pretty That's, succinct. Yeah. It was deep. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Quick yeah. draw. Well, I heard it twice. Lord, yes, thank you. I did pick. I pick Owen's team, and it sucks. Yep, Luke's terrible. Yeah, I'll be number one. Thanks. Oh, you have it. Well, that's I, nobody can top that. <laughs> that's right. You know, I mean. Oh, oh, oh snap! I guess that's for you. That's, that's you. just yeah. me, right? That's I think you're there, yeah. number three. Yeah, yeah. Gotta wait for two rings. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Mr. President. I didn't expect your call, but yeah, thank you. I mean, you were watching the draft? Uh, wow. You, you know Trump's prison. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a, he watches a lot of TV. Um, You're fired. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm honored. I'd love to help you with your picks. Uh, I mean, I think if you just look at my team, you'd be all set, so. You're fired. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. All right, have a great evening. That was good.